Let's graph the linear equation y equals 1 third x plus 3, and we'll do it two ways. First, we'll put values in for x and figure out y, and then we can plot those values here on our graph. Next, we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's put some values in for x. Let's start out with 3, because if we put 3 in for x, 1 third times 3, that's just 1. 1 plus 3, that'll give us 4. 0 is always a good number to try. 0 times x, that's just 0. So 0 plus 3, that gives us 3. Then how about negative 3? Because if we had negative 3x, 1 third times negative 3, that's negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2, that'll give us 2. So these are the values that we'll graph for the linear equation y equals 1 third x plus 3. We could have chosen any values for x here, and they would be on the line. The nice thing is if we chose 3 here, that gets rid of the fraction. This gives us whole numbers, and these numbers, they'll all fit on our graph paper here. So let's graph the points. We have 3 for x, 4 for y. So 3, and we go up to 4 on the y-axis. That's our first point. Then we have 0x, 3y. So here's 0x and 3y. One more, negative 3x and then 2y. You can see they all line up. We could have just used two points. It's nice though if you use three, if you get one of them wrong, you'll used to be able to tell. Let's put a line through this, and then put arrows to show that the line goes to infinity. Now we can use slope-intercept formula to check our work. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept, and that's 3. So we can find 3 on the y-axis here. That's where the line should intercept, and it does. Then for the slope here, that's rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept. We go up 1 and over 3. From there, we can go up 1 and over 1, 2, 3, and these points are on our line. Likewise, we could go down 1 and over 3, and do it one more time, 1 over 3, and that point is on our line as well. So this is the correct graph for y equals 1 third x plus 3. This is Dr. B with the graph for the linear equation y equals 1 third x plus 3. Thanks for watching.